Hey everyone, how you doing? Craig here. And welcome to episode 11 of this vlog from my tiny tropical garden. And we're back onto edible exotic plants this week. The sun has been shining and everything is kicking into action. So I'm going to be sowing some new exotic seeds. And I'll also check back on some of the seeds we sowed a few weeks ago. I can often find myself getting bulked down with the doing and the details in the garden. And it often takes somebody like my wife to tell me to take a time out and relax. And I'm just gonna take a second to remind you to do the same. It will do you the world of good. Enjoy your hard work. Relax, recharge, and you'll have the energy and fresh ideas to get going again. I'm gonna start this week by selecting which growth points of my grapevine I'm gonna to allow to grow. I'm gonna try and train it across three wires on the wall. And by rubbing out some of the buds at this early stage, it will focus the plant's energy into just growing where I want it to grow. I've tied three lengths of fishing wire to train the grapevines along. Now fishing wire probably isn't the best thing to use because it will cut into the vine as it grows. So I have to be careful with this. But for now, it's the only thing I had at hand and none of us are allowed out to buy anything. You've just got to adapt at the moment. Use whatever you've got available. It can always be put right later on. So with all of those unwanted buds easily rubbed off of the vine, all of the plant's energy will now be focused into the points I want to grow. With the weeks rolling by, the weather is getting warm enough for me to sow some edible, exotic plants that originate from subtropical climates. Plants like these golden courgettes and these cucumber melons. Each grows well in warm, fertile, subtropical climates. Perfect for my tropical themed garden. I'll be sowing them into this multi-purpose compost. Same as I've done for all my seeds this year, just because I never use a whole bag of seed compost. And so far, it's worked perfectly for me. I'll start with the cucumber melon seeds which are relatively small, which I suppose I should expect, seeing as the fruit looks like a melon, but it's actually only the size of a grape. I've laid two into each of these roughly nine centimeter pots, and I'm just pushing them slightly below the surface of the soil before firming it down. I'll then water them in and put them into a warm propagator on my windowsill to germinate. And the courgette seeds are much bigger and much easier to handle. I think I'm gonna sow these individually and I've gone for a golden courgette because I think it will look much more exotic in a tropical garden. Again, I'm just pushing these a couple of centimeters, that's about an inch down into the soil. I'll firm it over and water it in. These will join the cucumber melon seeds in that heated propagator on my windowsill. Can you remember I recently sowed the seeds for Tromponcino squash. That's that squash with the really long, exotic looking fruit. Well, look at the size of them. It's been about 10 days and they're already big enough for me to start hardening them off outside. I'm keeping them in their pots and just exposing them to sunlight and winds during the day and then protecting them slightly at night. I'll be planting these out within the next three or four days, but we've got a couple of frosts forecast so I won't do it just yet. And the jalapeno pepper seedlings that I sowed at the same time have all germinated and will need pricking out and potting up into the individual pots soon. And another plant from subtropical climates is this pinstripe aubergine. So many of us grow ornamental versions, why not grow the edible ones? And these are the golden courgettes that you've just seen me sow three days after sowing. They grew so quickly in the heated propagator, I took them out and have just put them on the windowsill. The growing will slow, but they'll soon need taking outdoors and hardening off too, as well as these beans, which I'll be growing up another bamboo cane in the garden. 
The cucumelon seeds, however, were much slower to germinate, but most of them are up and above soil level now, so I can take the lid off the propagator and grow them on indoors. Once threat of frosts has passed, I'll harden these off and plant them outside too, ready for them to scramble up some of the bamboo canes. All of my seedlings, whether edibles or ornamental plants for the tropical garden, start life on this windowsill. And it just shows you don't need masses of space or luxury greenhouses to get a well-stocked tropical garden. Just take time and enjoy what you're doing and your patience will pay off. Growing from seed is so rewarding. You can even sow some of the seed directly into the soil outdoors, like these spring onions. I did a couple of videos back. And for a quick crop to fill the gaps between the slower growing plants, I've sowed lines of radish, which is seed to harvest in about four weeks. Delicious. And our row of beetroot seedlings are up and ready for thinning out. And any of the seedlings I pull out can be used as micro veg and thrown into salads. As this new edible exotics bed starts to fill out in my tiny tropical garden, I think it's going to sit perfectly well with the tropical and exotic theme. That's right, we've got another surprise seed giveaway in partnership with the Tropical Roof Garden. Over the coming weeks, the Tropical Roof Garden will be giving away seeds to members of the Tropical Tribe. This week, the Tropical Roof Garden are giving away a packet of sugarcane seeds. Sugarcane is a tall tropical grass that looks great in a tropical styled garden and you can show off to all your friends saying that you are growing sugarcane at home. The Tropical Roof Garden will post seeds worldwide, so this competition is open to everybody. All you need to do to enter is comment on this video telling me what edible exotics you would love to grow in your own tropical garden. Good luck everybody, I look forward to seeing your answers, and thanks again to the Tropical Roof Garden for this giveaway. The winner of this seed giveaway will be picked at random and announced in next week's video. And as the days go by, I'm getting more and more excited about edible plants. The fact that I can walk out into my own personal jungle and pull the fruits of my labor off of the trees and out of the soil. It's like paradise. Who'd have thought that you could be growing edible subtropical fruits underneath a canopy of banana leaves and tropical fruit trees? I'd be so interested to know if any of you in the tropical tribe are growing your own edible plant, or even if this video has inspired you to have a go. Leave a comment below and let me know. Let's have a chat. And if you want to be part of the tropical tribe and you haven't already, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out the website, the Instagram and the Facebook page if you're looking for any inspirational ideas. And honestly, let's leave a comment. Let's have a chat. Everybody needs to talk at the moment. And remember, don't forget to enjoy your garden. See you all in the next video.